Now, it's hard to believe, but this time next week, mm -hmm. the kids will still be winding down from the yeah. sugar buzz <laughs> right. after trick-or-treating, and thousands of you will have passed through the historic Oakwood neighborhood and its famous Halloween house. Yeah, tonight we're checking out the progress as the homeowners put on the final touches. CBS North Carolina's David Grisbowski is live at the home in Oakwood with a look inside. David. Sharon and Sean, this house behind me started getting ready for Halloween starting back on September 15th. Today, I spoke with the owner of this home as he's getting ready for this weekend's Halloween festivities. It's no corporate, no political, no anything. It's just a time to come and trick or treat, and that's all we do. 53 year old Jesse Jones is getting his house ready for Halloween. This will be his ninth year in a row decorating and displaying scary props for trick or treaters. Jones is expecting thousands to stop by his house throughout the weekend for some Halloween costume and candy fun. So you don't see race or color or anything. You just see people trying to dress up and be somebody else, and you go out there and scare them, and you see great. Costumes, you see a lot of creativity. It's just a, it's just a, a great time. Jones has 30 monster statues that run off of 30 different electrical outlets. The Oakwood community loves this annual Halloween tradition. It's scary but fun for kids. Yeah, and so depending on how old they are, they might want to come while it's still light out because there, are, there are things that jump out at you and scare you, and that's part of the fun. I think it's awesome, and we've seen some of the kids come running over here, all excited, ran to some other neighbors, and they talked about how. This is like an amazing part of a Halloween for the neighborhood. Since we have been out here, dozens of people are stopping their cars, getting out to take a picture or two out here at the Jones home. And this weekend, he'll be hiring 30 actors to dress up in a little, in a little uh, f costumes and community. It's a little bit of fun and a little bit of scares as well. And also, portions of this block will be blocked off on Halloween for people to enjoy this house. They're saying close to 4,000 to 6,000 people will be visiting this house and this block coming up on Halloween. In Raleigh, David Grzbowski, CBS, North Carolina. Uh